Right then, what we've got is uh, Windsor & Newton's Series 7 box set, okay? Uh, and we're going to take a nice little product review and have a look what's exactly in here, okay? And what we've got in here, we've got a nice little card here, okay, which is quite cool because it actually tells you um, it was handmade in, in England by... Um, Sandra Belzy, okay, so that's who made this set, which is a nice little touch to kind of give you that it's handmade kind of thing going on. You get a nice little um, instruction manual, which is in a couple of different languages, okay, but you've got some instructions on how to take care of your, uh, take care of your brush, and it goes on about some history about how you know they've been making these paints for 150 years that. Um, <clears throat> Her Majesty the Queen Victoria, you know, want, got uh, Windsor and Newton to make her, you know, a very fancy paintbrush and to make it in the size of her favourite size, which was um, number seven, hence the name the Series 7, okay? Um, and as I say, it's been going for 150 years, so, you know, we're talking, you know, uh, some paintbrushes with some nice history, they're handmade, okay, um, <coughs> and they're top notch, they're up there as the best in the world. Um, but they're not cheap, okay? Um, you get four paintbrushes in the set, okay? Um, and you get a size zero, you get a size one, two, and three, okay? So a nice little selection of sizes there. <coughs> okay, so just to get a close look, just licking the end okay we want to get a look at these the brushes okay the the bees knees ends of this okay let's get this out of the way okay and as you could see right it's got a nice point to it they're made out of pure sable okay um you know so um i think yeah, they're made out of pure sable, okay, there's no kind of artificialness going on with this, okay, handmade, and a good test I like to do to find out whether or not a paintbrush is good or not, that somebody showed me, is by doing circles on the back of your hand, okay, and what you're looking for is how the paintbrush just flows around in the circle on the back of your hand, and what you're looking for is to seeing how the paintbrush holds its shape, okay, you don't want to be seeing little hairs starting to you know break off the shape or anything like that okay and what you want to end up with which is hopefully what you can see is a paintbrush that is still holding its shape still holding that point all nicely okay so for an example if we get out um, say one of games workshops um, paintbrushes here um, which are apparently made part sable and part um, you know, that kind of non-real hair stuff, I forgot what it was called now, okay, and we come in and we can do the same trick, okay, and we can start going around and around and trying to get it to do a nice circle, okay, and you might be seeing what I'm seeing now, it's not as smooth and I'm already seeing little hairs starting to break off the shape okay and it's losing that shape and if we stopped now okay and zoomed in on those um, that point you might see how too far okay you might just be seeing and if you can't see take my word for it it's lost its shape okay it's lost that point okay and that's what you don't want when you're painting you want to be able to have that nice pointy shaped brush okay to literally be able to keep painting okay you want it to hold the paint um, and do all the um, nice painting with these brushes okay um, although paint brushes aren't say my um, expertise you know I like to use the airbrush um, but when it comes down to some paint you know using some top quality paint brushes is a really um, good start okay so um, is it worth it or not? Well, we come to price, okay, and we want to sum this up quite quickly. Plain and simply, you know, this, um, from I'm looking at the Windsor & Newton website now, for a size zero paintbrush costs £10. For the size one, and this is all individually by the way, um, is £10.60, the size two is £12.70, and for the size three is a whopping £17.60. Okay, so, you know, you've got something like £50 worth of paintbrushes there, um, which, although I think 
I don't know what the RRP price is about but if you do search around you will find people are selling them for about the £35 mark which is actually you know a bit of a bargain considering how much these cost individually okay which um, I brought the box set and I did buy some individual paints as you can paint brushes as you can probably see here okay which they come in these nice little tubes okay which does look quite fancy um, and I brought a load individually Individually as well um, and although on the Windsor & Newton website they may sound expensive if you do search around you can pick up um, you know like a size zero instead of paying ten pounds you could be paying six pounds or something so do search around and you can get these paint brushes quite cheap actually um, which is actually really good because it's a top quality paintbrush um, and considering games workshop sells their paints for example for about three four pounds add a couple of quid on top and you can get yourself a proper series seven you know Windsor and Newton fully sable and everything proper professional heap loads better paintbrush you know for that just bit extra you know if you search around and get get some bargains okay so this is definitely recommended okay definitely for those of you who like doing paintwork okay for those of you who do a bit of paintwork it's still recommended okay you will notice the difference if you you know if all you've used is like you know your artificial kind of um, brushes and you know maybe you've bought some cheap brushes you know if you go off and buy some decent paint brushes you will notice the difference so this is definitely recommended and I hope you've enjoyed this